Seth Research Laboratories in California have recently demonstrated that in some tumors, cancer cells are killed by marijuana, while the other healthy cells are left untouched. Cells that stop moving and become still white dots are dead cancer cells. The ability of cannabinoids to kill bad cells while protecting healthy ones is particularly important when we're talking about brain cancer because of the so-called blood-brain barrier. The brain has to be sheltered from outside influences that might hitch a ride on the bloodstream and cause havoc. What is exciting and unique about cannabinoids is that they can pass through the blood-brain barrier because of their slippery, fat-loving nature. Cannabinoids get right into the brain's cancer cells by moving easily through the cell's membranes, which are also composed of lipids. Hemos observado que los cannabinoides tienen un efecto inductor de la muerte de las células tumorales, un efecto inhibidor de lo que es el crecimiento, la multiplicación de las células tumorales, lo que hacen es disminuir el crecimiento de los tumores. Not only the immune cells, the normal immune cells express these cannabinoid receptors called the CB2 receptors, but also that when these immune cells get transformed and they become cancer, to our surprise we found that these cancer cells continue to express these CB2 receptors. This was an exciting discovery because the CB2 receptor can act like a target for the cannabinoids. Once they bind with the receptor, they can tell the cancer cell to die. So basically telling the cells basically to commit suicide and that's what they do. And uh, we demonstrated that that would be the mechanism by which the cannabinoids can kill the cancer and therefore it can be used effectively as an anti-cancer agent. If cannabis might be the miracle cancer cure that everybody's been searching for, then why don't doctors everywhere know about it? People have a hard time believing that cannabis can have all of these fantastic effects that are described. But what we're doing is we're just stimulating a natural system that's already there. This has been developing for hundreds of millions of years. The early the invertebrates, the sea squirts, the hydra, there are primitive endocannabinoid systems in those organisms back, dating back six, seven hundred million years ago.